Hello YouTube, my name is Knox and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be discussing in Jira how to copy a board. So essentially I have one project called Project Management and I have another project called YouTube. So essentially YouTube is filled of user stories and it has epics. So essentially I want to have uh, a board in Project Management as the scenario is that I want to consolidate. I want to get rid of the YouTube project and just keep everything in Project Management. So how is that done? So if I navigate to YouTube projects, you can see essentially that there's two epics. There's one epic with YouTube videos and then a couple user stories. And then we have a label project, meaning that inside of this epic, there's labels. So that's going to show you how to distinguish filtering and use querying. So essentially all you need to do in either tab is just go to search and then view all boards. And we're going to open up a new tab. So you're going to go ahead and, and click create board. And you'll have two options, either do the scrum board or a combine. So in this scenario, we're going to do a combine. So the first option allows you to create a new software program or project with a new board as well. So that gives you the flexibility to create a board and just create a similar project from project management or YouTube project. But what we're focusing on is board from existing project and board from existing save filter. So I'm going to go ahead and click board from existing project. And we're going to type in YouTube projects. So projects is the location of which board I'm trying to copy. So in this scenario, I'm trying to copy YouTube videos. And then the location is going to be project management. I'm going to go ahead and click create board. And as you can see, if I navigate, I can see the, the project, project board. And I can see the YouTube projects. So you can see now that all those user stories are, are inside of here now. And they're all, and if we go to YouTube, it's also there as well. So essentially I can consolidate, get rid of the YouTube projects and just keep one project that has different boards inside of it. So now what if I wanted to narrow it down? So if I go to YouTube, let's create another epic for this scenario. We'll just call it, um, let's just call it Visual Studios. And then inside of there, I'm going to create um, test. And then we'll do logic again, logic and automation. But the only thing difference is that I'm going to add a filter. So I'm going to add another filter and let's just do, we can, we can stay with, um, let's do issue. Issue. Do issue, even though it's not related. Issue. All right, cool. Just to verify those are all in there, issue, and then the epic. So why am I doing that? Because I want to be able to filter this down. So if I create another board off YouTube into my project management one, so if I go over here, we go back to YouTube, I can be able to get exactly the user stories or epics or whatever the issue types inside of a separate board as well. So same same logic essentially we're going to go to boards and we're going to go ahead and create another board but this time before i do that i need to go ahead and create a custom filter so we're going to navigate to filters click view all filters click create new create filter and then from here you can either create it from scratch or i can go back and i can just save a copy of one all you do is click copy filter and then for this scenario, I usually just do label or labels equals um, issue and always provide a description and definitely better naming convention. But for this example, just put this. So now that I have my new filter, I'm going to modify this query. And all I'm going to do is type in and labels equals issue and then search. Verify that it's working. We can see Visual Studio, Test, Logic, and Automation. If I go back to YouTube, we can see that these are all tagged with lit issue. I'm going to go ahead and click Save Filter. So now if I go back to the board and we go ahead and click the third option, we can create this new board. And then we can all search for all our filters and then I can go here. Location is going to be project and click create board. 
So now I not only have a filtered board, even though it's just best practice to create different filters inside of the board, but just for the scenario, if you needed to narrow down that board as you're trying to copy it, you can see the difference. So this one is filtered by issue. We can see that those are the ones that are on YouTube. Then we have this one, which is the last one. And this one has all of all, all of the user stories and epics. I hope this was insightful and straightforward. And I'll be making more Jira videos in the future. Thank you for watching.